child of Marie. Yep. Okay. So let's have a look. And so the relationship that you have with your mama, how do you feel about that relationship? What's it, what's it bringing up for you? Uncertainty? Mm -hmm. That she doesn't love you? Um, at times. Were you a child of Rex? No. But your mother was? Mm -hmm. So how do you see that acting out in her life? Did she feel like she wasn't wanted? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cause then what she's saying to me is, yes, I wasn't wanted. So you can be sorry about for your mother. Yes. So I wasn't wa I'm not wanted. And why should I want you? You know, people can go one of two ways when they're parents. They can either decide they're never going to do what their parents did and become completely different, more conscious parents, or they can go, well, that happened to me, so yeah, why shouldn't they experience it? So in this case, your mum's in the athletic category. And, but you have come through with the agreement to do that for some reason. Yeah, so you, it for me and my daughter. That's right. You've come through with the agreement that it's okay that my mother abuses me. It's okay that uh, she doesn't want me. I, I, it's, I'm okay with this because that's why I've come here. So she made a karmic agreement to come through. This is what Daniel calls one of those karmic boulders that's in the, in the room, right? So let's see what the real problem is. Um, first of all, let me just check. Uh, the core spine midline are pretty good, that's good. And then let's have a look at where it's coming from. Um, so what's the agreement you made before you came into this lifetime? I just, the agreement was, I don't deserve a mother's love. And so it doesn't matter where, you know, what it's about. The fact was that was your agreement. Mm -hmm. And so you, your mother's planning out that, mm -hmm. and it's like your mother doesn't love you. But it's, interestingly enough, she really does love you. She's just playing out this role. Mm -hmm. She's bought into the story. The two of you have bought into the story together. Mm -hmm. right, but this woman really does love you. How does it feel when I say she loves you? It feels amazing. Yeah. Unbelievable? Um, not in the core. Right. But unbelievable on the yeah. surface level. Yeah. yeah. I just don't want my daughter to feel that. I need to keep going on. Yeah. So now we're going to break all of this. So that you're, how's your mother with your daughter? Like is she, she's true to form. Yeah, yeah, good, okay. She's true to form too. Like your mum. Okay, so let's just go on. We know it's spiritual. Mental, emotional, physical, psychic, and psychological. This is only spiritual. So let's just go on and find out what's going on. Why the two of you have come through with this agreement? both saying, I'm going to be the mother, and the other one goes, no, I'm going to be the mother. And they're both fighting over who's going to be the mother. And they're going, no, okay, yeah, she does it for her children. But she, I'm going to be the mother. I'm, I'm, no, I'm going to be the mother, right? All the time, they're fighting over it. This is before they have come into both. They're fighting. So they're, so they're already coming, and then your mum won, she's the mother. And you, on your level, have gone, I'm meant to be the mother. Look at the program. I am meant to be the mother. Have you been trying to mother your mother for a long time? Or recently? Or recently, okay. Not forever. <laughs> no, okay. Not that you're aware of. So yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm like that. Yeah. So, um, all right. So we know that I'm meant to be the mother is, the, is one of the core things here that's creating this problem. So let's just go in and I'm going to go back to the two of you who are having this little bit of an altercation in this other dimension. So we're going on a dimensional shift right now. And on this dimensional shift, um, what does your true self want me to do? Oh, okay. So, so on a dimensional shift, what we're, what's happening here is that your mother's saying, I really, really, really want to be the mother. I haven't been the mother for a long time. You were the mother last time and the time before that. It's like she'd been a mother hog. And, <laughs> and so, so this time, your her mother really wants to be the mother. And, and 
the two of you are kind of fighting it, and because you're fighting it, you're coming through with that frequency, right, of still fighting it. And when I'm, when I'm on this dimensional shift, what's happening here is that we're going up there, and we're looking at it, and you, I'm appearing to you as just a full white light being. And as I do that, your whole heart goes like this, and you look at this being across from you, and she says, I really want to be the mother. And you go, yes, of course you do. Of course, that's exactly what's going to happen. No no structure, no no fighting, no nothing. Of course, I want to be mother too. It's my turn. It's my turn, right? So let's have you totally neutralize and delete the fight in that dimension, and have you coming into form so coming, as you come into form, let's neutralize and put it in the out of your system on a spiritual level. The belief program and an idea is that you are meant to be the mother. She's got no right being a mother. She's not even good at it. You knew she was not going to be good at it, so how dare she want to be the mother? And so I should have been that. Let's give you 100% infinite potential to be corrected, to be strong, to know that with grace and ease and love, that you are strong to the fact that this woman won that she won the game and that you can come into a place of acceptance that you are the child and that she is the mother and that this mother has always really wanted to love you. But she hasn't been able to because the frequency of this other dimension has been interfering with it on a physical level. She doesn't even know why she says and does what she does, by the way. Mm. She's like completely in the dark. So sometimes she thinks, and this is just getting into her for you, when she does and says things that hurt you, she will go home at night and go, what on earth am I doing? What is going on? I know she'd never tell you this, but she is questioning herself all of the time. It's like, and it's like she can't stop it. Right? So we're just going to help her stop it now. Mm -hmm. We're going to cut the karma between you and her on every dimension that you both exist on mm -hmm. at this moment and we're going to put a forgiveness template into your beingness and her beingness and forgive the two of you for writing that script and not being able to come to the agreement of who is going to be what in this lifetime. And let's also put the forgiveness template in so you forgive yourself for writing the story, you forgive yourself for not having dropped it up until this moment and forgive yourself now to such a degree that you can come into a very high state of acceptance that no matter what she says or does, she still deserves love. Mm -hmm. That no matter what happens, she still deserves love. Okay? Let's just go in and have a look. Stay strong. Um, she shouldn't be the mother. I shouldn't be the mother. I, it's okay for her to be the mother. Acceptance of her being the mother. Not acceptance of her being the mother. Um, I am now free to love my mother. I'm not. I'm now free. I'm now totally free and clear with my new soul agreement. That my new soul agreement is I accept that she's the mother in this lifetime. And in my new soul agreement and contract, I also put in a soul agreement and contract is that I never ever have to come back and be mother daughter with this woman ever again. <laughs> <laughs> this is really important. I mean, you know, I know it's funny, but you got it. Yeah. So we're going to break the soul agreement so that this is the last lifetime. They stop doing this. They're on this karmic cartwheel, that boulder that Daniel's been talking about. So we're removing the boulder so the cartwheel stops. And so you're now being corrected to be completely free of that. So you never, ever have to come back and be the mother or the daughter with this woman ever again. Totally free and clear to move on. And <laughs> yes, she is too. It's fantastic. And and no, she's not coming back as a granddaughter of anything. <laughs> uh, but, but because her true self wanted to know, you know, am I going to be stuck with this frequency again? And it's like, no, it's never going to happen again unless you choose it to happen from a space of love. Mm. Right, so that's it. You are absolutely on every single level right now, totally free and clear of all karma to do with this woman. You know, you are, she is of you. So any, any soul agreement and contract you want to put into place right now is your choice. You're free to have a choice because you're neutral. How's that feeling? I feel relieved. <laughs> relieved. <laughs> Relief. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. So you're relieved that you can simply love and accept her and, and come to this place of acceptance of her now mm -hmm. because there's only a few more years to go and it's over anyway. 
caught me. I, sometimes I feel so naughty. But, you know, the truth is a truth. So no, I think love is good, though, because we can love each other for who we are. Exactly. You can just love each other for who you are. Mm -hmm. And you can go, yeah, okay. When I say she won, because part of it, there's been a big competition thing going on between the two of them. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you been aware of that in this lifetime? Has she been competitive with you? At times. Yeah. So there's been this big competition going on. And now the competition's gone. It's like you don't have, you, you've got, hey mama, I just love you. What are you going to say? I just love you. you I feel good. <laughs> yeah, just say it. Oh, mama, I just love you. I just, did you believe her? I just didn't say it in Spanish. Now say it in Spanish. Te amo, mama. Good.